Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura B, Laura Valenzuela. Thank you guys so much for watching today. So in today's video, as you guys can tell, I already have um, most of my makeup on and that's because I am going to be reviewing the Batty B lashes for you guys. So you guys, I have four pairs right here um, to review for you guys. And I wanted to show you guys how I apply them and or how I apply lashes in general if they're easy to put on for my opinion I wear so many lashes so many styles so many brands But I've been really really wanting to order some of these um, Batty B lashes um, Just because the packaging alone is gorgeous. The lashes are gorgeous as you guys can tell they are super super pretty um, I will go ahead and show you guys them one on one this one is instaho this is one of the first lashes that I knew that I wanted so let me go ahead and take them out of here so you guys can see without the ring light hitting it and they are gorgeous you guys they are 3d they are 100% mink lashes and they are so pretty if you guys can tell they even have the name on the inside of the box so you know where you're putting them in i love the detail down to like where you pull it out of it has this little like material um you could tell they weren't cheap with the packaging and i really like that it has a uh, magnetized area right here on the end so when you do put them back in the case let me show you guys they just kind of like simply magnetize like that sorry if my ring light is like casting um light on there like making it look weird um but these are the insta ho lashes i also ordered the lash style extra and i know you guys um see as you guys can tell they they magnetize back clothes i just love how like much detail went into making these um lashes and the packaging so here is extra or hashtag extra and these are so pretty. These kind of flare out a little bit more. Um, Instaho were a little bit more bundled up. These ones kind of flare out and have a little bit more space in between them. And I did go ahead and order, like most of them are dramatic lashes because, oh, hold on. There you go. And this is how it looks and it does have the style name, hashtag saucy on the top and the bottom. And then the back does look like this, you guys. It does have her logo. I just love how she, her packaging is on these. So cute, so gorgeous. And I think she took her time. And I really, really appreciate that, especially for what we're paying for the lashes. So this is how they look, you guys. But does have the style name in the center of the box as well. So you know where to put them back into, which I really appreciate that. And they're very, very subtle. These are their um, mink lashes. I didn't get any of her synthetic ones because I wanted to try these ones out first. But this is the style Saucy. And then um, I also purchased the style Hashtag Baddie. And it does have the name on the top and the bottom of the box. And... I love this print that she has right here for Batty B. Like, I love that font. It's so pretty. And then, so this is the style Batty or hashtag Batty. And these are more separate, but very, very dramatic lashes. As you guys can tell, they're so pretty. I love these lashes. I like how they flare out at the end. Um, these are more flared out at the end and tapered on the inside. So I really, really like these as well. I couldn't decide which ones I wanted, so I ended up getting four different styles, although I do want some of her other styles. So I do want to try these on for you guys and um, just show you guys how they look. I will apply them so you guys could kind of see a little bit of how I'm applying them. Um, and also, I'm going to be using, I just picked up, a, wow, I just threw that, hold on one second. Okay, guys, I am back. So this flew across the room, but I just picked up a whole brand new um, little lash glue. Um, I had a different one, but I'm kind of running low and I didn't want it to like interfere with this video. So I, I purchased a brand new stick of stick of glue. Oh my gosh, a brand new lash adhesive. And the um, brand that I get is Kiss, and it's the Strip Lash Adhesive. It's latex-free. It's the number one selling glue. It's a brush tip, which I really, really like. It's so much easier for me. I don't like those squeezy tube ones because I feel like too much glue comes out, and it's just not my thing. This has never, like, 
failed me. None of my lashes have ever like completely fallen off or fallen off a lot, unless it's something where I'm in a rush and I didn't put on enough glue or something. But for the most part, this has been like my thing. I've had, I have been using this for like, I wanna say the last year and a half and it's my favorite. I do get the clear one. I don't like the black one. I mean, not that I don't like it. I feel like I would make a mess if I move it around too much. But this one does have Olay or aloe, aloe, Olay, I'm not sure. But this is how it looks, you guys. And I think it retails for like $3 at Walmart. You guys can pick it up at Ulta, Walmart, Rite Aid, Walgreens, wherever you guys shop. I'm sure they have it. I've seen it everywhere. But this is one of my favorite ones and it's very easy to use because once it starts drying, it turns blue and you can go ahead and place it on your eyelashes and that's how you know they're tacky and it's just very, very easy. So for those of you who like don't know when to apply them and it just kind of wiggles around everywhere because the, the glue that you're using isn't dried yet, this one is pretty quick to not like super quick where it dries really fast and you don't have time it just is really quick to get tacky and it's easier to apply with i've noticed with um how long i've been using lashes this has been one of my favorite ones i use the i used to use the duo ones i use the little ones that come in those little kiss you know that come with the um lashes already and i don't like those at all this has been my favorite one and for like three bucks to something i believe like you can't go wrong so this is what I use so let's go ahead and get on into the clips okay you guys so I already have the glue on if you guys can see I just applied a nice generous amount I didn't overdo it with the glue because I want it to get nice and tacky and I don't want it to be wiggling around as I apply it and I do um, use a lash applicator. I wanna show you guys, um, this is how I use it. I kinda of place it at the tips of the lashes. And then um, when I do apply it on the eye, you guys, I kind of apply it this way upwards so it kind of stays that way. I like them to look kind of flared up instead of pointing down. So I like to apply them this way instead of this way. And I do start with the center. So um, I think it's tacky enough. Let me go ahead. Sorry, my hair was like itching me. Um, okay, so I think it's tacky enough. Let me go ahead and show you guys how I apply it. I have my mirror and let me show you guys. Hopefully you guys are zoomed in enough. So what I do is I go like this. I shut one of my eyes a little bit and I kind of just place it in the center first. So I place it. I don't push it on or anything yet. I start kind of maneuvering it how I want it to be once I already have it down and where I want it to go. And then I kind of just bond my lashes to these lashes. As you guys can tell, I do apply mascara first. I don't ever apply mascara afterwards because it helps the longevity of your lashes. It helps um, them to last longer. And it's just the way I like to do it, you guys. Um, I never put it on afterwards unless they're like little $2 lashes that I don't really care for. Um, I mean, for the most part, I just try not to do that. It's not my style. I like to do it without the with the mascara on first and eyeliner and then I go ahead and go on with my lash but as you guys can tell this is nice and applied you want to make sure that it's nice and applied at the ends so they're not like kind of lifting I'll show you guys the other one hopefully it didn't dry because I had it sitting here with glue and you guys this is the style saucy Alrighty, you guys so this is the style saucy this is the first style this is the least dramatic out of all the ones that I'm gonna try on for you guys today and um, it's as easy as that you guys I just do recommend the lash applicators the lash glue and a good eyeliner but um this is how these style look and as you guys can tell they're very flared out I really really like these I enjoy these I obviously didn't want to adhere them as like 
set in stone because I'm going to be taking them off anyways right now. So this is how these look. You guys, I'm just looking in the monitor and I love how flared out. I love how open and wispy these lashes are. They don't feel heavy at all. Um, they feel really, really nice. Very comfortable. Um, I mean, I love lashes, so like I wear them all the time. So these are some of my favorites, but then again, these are the only ones I've tried on. So let me go ahead and show you guys the next ones. Okay, you guys, so the next style of lashes is the style hashtag extra, and these are very extra, you guys. These are so pretty. So I did apply a little bit of glue, and I'm letting it get tacky. Again, I'm using my lash applicators, and I just want to show you guys how these apply. I did cut off the inner and outer corner, the little extra piece that was on there. I didn't cut off any of the lashes because I feel like these are going to be fine, especially like when I do my eyeliner, sometimes I wing it out this way. So I kind of just apply it upwards. I don't know if you guys have ever used that technique, but I like to do that because a lot of times I don't like to cut off um, parts of my eyelashes or like, well, these ones. Um, so I, I'm going to try it like this first and see how they apply, how they feel. But if they feel like they're too long for me, then of course I'll go back in and trim them a little bit. So they don't feel heavy. They The band, it doesn't feel so like heavy looking. Um, I've seen thicker bands that I don't like, so we'll see how these apply. So the first thing I'm going to do, like I said, I like to go up this way. So I'm going to start with this eye. Okay, let me go ahead and apply the next lash and I just let the lash glue dry you guys. So I'm going to apply a little bit more. It doesn't take this glue that long. Um, I'll show you guys right now. It doesn't take it that long to get tacky, which I really like about this glue. Um, these lashes are so pretty. Okay. Okay, you guys, so this is the Lash Style Extra, and you guys, these are very extra, very pretty, very wispy. The lash band is not heavy whatsoever, which kind of surprises me with these lashes, that they're very light and airy. That's like the best way that I can explain them. I wish that I had eyeliner on though, so you guys can really see how these eyes, um, how I would necessarily wear these. Very pretty, very soft and airy, and very wispy. They don't feel heavy. Um, and I just love it. The band is very light. Um, it's not heavy. It doesn't make your eyes feel like they're super heavy. Of course, these aren't the most dramatic lashes that I've worn, but they're very, very pretty. And I really love them. They are dramatic. Um, for those of you who don't like dramatic lashes, these are very pretty, but not too much if that makes any sense. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to apply a little bit of glue to this one because I had applied some and I ended up putting away some lashes or the lashes that I just tried on so they kind of dried out a little bit and these are the style let's see instaho yeah these are the style instaho so we've already tried on saucy we've tried on hashtag extra which they're right here you guys I need to clean them off and put them back on there and then the next shade or shade um, the next style we're going to try on is Instaho. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply these. I didn't cut any extra off. I only cut off that little remainder part that always stays on the lashes. And that's how easy that is, you guys. They're not hard to apply. You just want to make sure you let the glue get nice and tacky before you go to try and apply um, lashes. I think that's like the number one mistake that I hear everybody do, or I was going to say does and do at the same time. Um, that's the number one mistake that I hear that everybody does. So um, I always tell them make sure they're letting their glue get nice and tacky. 
before applying because if not of course you're going to have that wiggling around and not be able to um, like kind of set them down in place where you want them so these are hashtag instaho let me go ahead and apply the other one you guys these are so pretty I really like these I mean I'm losing the lash okay you guys these are so pretty and as you guys can tell they're very different from the um, extra ones the extra ones were a little bit more fluffed together these are a little bit more light and airy I actually thought when I ordered instaho that they were gonna be a lot more dramatic and one of the more dramatic ones, but they're not. They're very, very nice. I really like these. I can wear these without liner or without any um, makeup, or not makeup, without any liner or without any um, like eyeshadow. I actually could wear these like this alone. I really like these, and they are very insta -hoey. Um, but they're very pretty. I really like them. I feel like hashtag extra was a lot more dramatic than these ones, and... Um, actually really like these they're I thought the band was gonna be a little bit it looked a little bit more um, heavy than the band on the hashtag extra ones but they don't feel like that and they feel really light and airy that's what surprises me with these lashes that they're very easy to apply and that they're not um, the band is very um, like you can wiggle it around more and apply it to your eyes um, so much easier as you guys can tell they just like kind of popped on and they look really, really pretty. I really like them. I'm gonna have to order more. So yeah, this is the style Instaho, you guys, and it's so, so pretty. I really, really like them. And they were so easy to apply. Super easy to apply. And you guys, my eye, um, my mascara is like crumbling, you guys. I've had this on for a little while now because I was supposed to film earlier. So I did my face so that I can apply lashes on camera with you guys. But I ran errands. I went to the commissary. I went to, I made myself something to eat because I was hungry. And then I decided to watch my show and then come and film. So yeah, so it's like crumbling everywhere, which it's not the best mascara. The mascara I did use was the Colossal this one but I don't really care I kind of just throw on um, whatever mascara usually they don't crumble like that this one I like to apply on the lower lashes but um, I don't recommend it if you don't like crumbling <laughs> um, but yeah the next style of lashes that I'm gonna be applying is the hashtag baddie and these are very dramatic very flared out so I'm probably gonna have to cut off a little bit of the ends but I'm not sure yet we'll see so this is the style hashtag baddie and these are the next ones that I'm going to be applying. Okay you guys, so the next and last style that I'm going to be applying is going to be the hashtag baddie lashes. So these are more flared out, so I saved these for last because I didn't know if I was going to struggle with having to cut off a little bit of the end. So I did only cut off, let me show you guys how much I did cut off. I literally hate cutting off lashes because I feel like I spend so much money on these. But I cut off like, let's see that little thing on each side so we'll see i might have to go back in and cut off a little bit more but before these completely dry out let me go ahead and show you guys how they look so that's how they look guys they're very flared very pretty if i can get my camera to focus there it goes they're very flared very pretty lashes as you guys can tell so so pretty so these are the style um, hashtag baddie. So we're going to go ahead and try these on. And if you guys see like a little bit of my liner, you guys, I'm struggling right here trying to keep my makeup good while I'm applying and taking off these lashes. Wow, that was so easy to apply. Okay, so I didn't have to cut off any more. Um, let's see, I'm going to try and... Okay. 
Okay, so that wasn't difficult at all to apply if you guys can see. I do have to go on the inner corner a little bit, but my eyes are getting kind of watery because I kind of keep like tugging at my eyes and they are very sensitive sometimes, especially because I've been going back and forth with lashes. Okay, you guys, so this is the style hashtag baddie. And as you guys can tell, they're nice and flared out. They're very different from the last couple ones that we tried on. So every one is very different in its own way for a different style of look that you guys are going for. It all, it's all up to you guys. So whichever one spoke to you guys the most, let me know down in the comments down below if you guys would like and share with us which ones were your favorite style. But for me, honestly, I don't know. <sighs> let me see if I can pick. I think hashtag saucy and instaho are some of my favorite ones and then these and then hashtag extra i think that's the order i would go in but they're all my favorites i really really like them for different reasons so you know a girl's got to have different lashes for different occasions but um these are really nice as you guys can tell they do flare out at the end which i really do like that they do that and um if you guys can see they're just really pretty, you guys. Um, of course, with liner, it gives it a different look. With eyeshadow, it gives it a whole different look. But I just wanted to show you guys how it looks um, alone on the eye and how I apply my lashes. So what I would recommend is a good inner waterline liner, which this one's really good. This is the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Waterproof Retractable Eyeliner. So this is the one I've been liking for the inside of the eye. Another one that I really like for like my wing lately that's been making it super black jet black very very like a nice straight wing it's very easy to use is the tar sex kitten eyeliner which looks like this and you guys it has like a small little cat on the top of the cap it's so funny but it's called the sex kitten liner and it is like a felt tip but it's very easy to use you guys this is how it looks so this is my favorite eyeliner at the moment. And then, of course, the Kiss Adhesive Lash Glue is one of my favorites for these lashes. Um, just because it secures them and they aren't going anywhere when you use this glue. Another thing that I recommend is a lash applicator. Um, what else? I think that's it. So that's going to be it for this video, you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope that you guys... Um, picked out something that you guys might like from these lashes. They did have a 30% off going um, during Valentine's Day. I'm sure they always have different stuff going. So if you guys are interested, I will link down below the website so that you guys can go check them out. I really love their packaging. I love the feel of the lashes. I think they're very, very high quality lashes and I love the packaging. The packaging stands out to me so much, you guys. I love that they put so much thought into this packaging and I love Jenny69. She is my favorite YouTuber. Well, one of my favorite YouTubers and um, I was so happy to um, finally be able to buy some of her lashes, which makes me so happy, you guys. Um, and continue if you guys um, are interested in checking her videos out. I will link her down below if you guys don't know who I'm talking about, but I really, really enjoy her videos. I'm sure all of you guys know who she is, but she is one of my favorite YouTubers, and I think she's so funny. She's just down to earth and um, very extra herself, but um, I will leave the links down below to everything that I talked about in this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys on the next one.